unproven, intriguing, I suppose, fascinating maybe. Could this defense around Brian Flores' aggressive approach come together much quicker than we expect? Welcome into another Purple Insider Extra. Jonathan Harrison here, joined once again by Purple Insider's Matthew Collar. And Collar, Daniil Hunter is officially holding out of Vikings mandatory minicamp, and that has sent up the bat signal around the league that one of the league's premier pass rushers could possibly be on the trade block if the Vikings are unable to work out a deal. Uh, if they're not, that would mean the Vikings put him on the trade block and if they move him on, they will be without their top two pass rushers from last season with Hunter and Zadarius Smith gone. What does a Brian Flores defense look like without Daniil Hunter on the Vikings this season, if that happens? I think I want to go with uh, a few words. Uh, one would be unproven. Uh, the other one would be intriguing, I suppose. Fascinating, maybe, uh, because you would basically have an entire defense built of players who we don't know what they are, or what they're going to become. And going into this off season, even just a couple of weeks ago, that kind of still looked like it might be Zedarius Smith and Daniel Hunter. So you knew that you were going to have X number of sacks and X number of pressures, assuming that those guys stayed healthy. And now you have three guys who we don't really know what they are in this league, including Marcus Davenport, who they signed this off season. He's had big ups and downs in his sack totals. He's always been good at pressuring the quarterback, but has never become really a full-time player. Could he be that here? You also have DJ Wanham, who has an eight sack season to his name two years ago, still had some pressures and sacks last year. Patrick Jones, a draft pick of two years ago. And uh, another guy that sort of flashed from time to time last season in a situational role. So could he get an opportunity and develop and take off? There's always possibilities there of players, you know, taking that big step. And then you have the linebacker situation. Unclear if Brian Asamoah can be the guy who takes care of Kendrick's spot. The safety spot. Is Lewis Seen going to rise to the challenge? At cornerback, everybody's competing for spots except for uh, Byron Murphy Jr., who they signed in the offseason. But even he had his ups and downs in Arizona, but could possibly have a higher ceiling. So I think that the defense looks like a group of players that we would spend all season long evaluating from week to week going, is this guy going to be a part of the future or could this defense around Brian Flores' aggressive approach come together much quicker than we expect because the, their speed and their youth fit what Brian Flores wants to do. And I think it's one of the reasons Flores is here, not only to maximize what those players do well, um, but also to you know, kind of find out who can play as a scouting background, a development background. So can he find out who can play for the future? It sort of flips a switch into, all right, finding out mode rather than trying to improve mode from what they were last year. That's been another Purple Insider Extra for Bring Me the Sports. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the Purple Insider Podcast wherever you get your podcasts. Talk to you next time.